Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land. Here we are, we've got the planter here because we need to plant all three of these fields today in this episode. So, after a bit of imminent almond, I've decided on the following. We're not going to do soybeans because we don't really need a cash crop as such. But what we're going to do is corn, sugar beets because I thought we could do a sugar bean that for our sugar production as well as sorghum so we've got sorghum selected so sorghum is going to go into this field here corn will go into this one here and then sugar beet will go into here just because that seems a bit larger off those two up there Let's get it unfolded. So yeah, it's been a few days since I've last recorded an episode and yeah, it's just having that breather and out, doing a bit of ice ring, getting that underway. That sort of refreshed me a bit on this series, so don't forget to get back into it. Also, we've got grass field over here that is growing, that'll be ready to harvest again in next month. Also next month we've got to do a bit of selling, we've got to sell our flour. Was it our flowers? If we have a look at prices. So our flower, our clothes, and I did pick out maple syrup as well. Is there anything else that would be worth selling right now? Not really sure, we can wait for a little bit longer. But yeah, we'll get those done in May. So I think best way to go about it is, as always, do a headland. may not be worth getting work on this because it ain't going to take too long for us to get this done. But I think we'll see. Also, with my situation, I thought about what we're going to do. I think we'll go with a class harvester. Especially for the corn now, we can get a nice big header for the corn harvester. Yeah, for the corn, we could use that to make silage, but we see the need of that and corn. We got to plant to a another production. Not sure we got one actually here we have to, uh, cereal with the farm supply production, but I don't think we'll make cereal as such. Maybe make a little bit of it, but I think cereal that requires a few things if I remember correctly. Things like raisins and that. Also for our grains, what we're producing the greenhouses, we're sending those to the store, and then once they get pallets done, we'll send them over to our new flower production. So yeah, zero that requires raisins. So again, that requires grape production. So yeah, we can work on that at some point. Also, I need to get the bees in. Which we may have a look at another time. They may, so let's go and get this all done. Maybe a worker doing this, don't know for sure. They may, I'll see you folks in a few moments.
if the roll is on the way. And as you see, we've purchased a new plot of land and actually created a new field. So we'll go and finish that scene off in a sec. Get a work on way on this. So let's go over here. Workers on the way. So yeah, I thought I could buy another plot of land because we can do with some sunflower as well. We also need sugar beet, so that's why I thought this to get a new plot of land and create one massive field. Cut a few trees down, cut a few trees over here. So I was thinking perhaps we could put that into the furniture to get some more tank or well, no more furniture in that so be interested to see how much of that it would take. All these sawmills for now are fine but if we ever need more timber we do have some options in terms of trees. Ooh, ooh. I don't know why I keep on jackknifing like that. But anywho so we'll go and position you. So it did bottom area so it doesn't cross over into the other fields. There are some stumps about, so hopefully the worker can manage that alright. But yeah, so first of all, we bought some seeds and lime to top up the greenhouse, so lime I think is pretty much done. I did try to record some bits but for whatever reason I lost the footage of that, so do you apologize about that? But anyways, we got a little bit of seeds. I didn't think about buying too much because I'm pretty sure we had quite a bit in storage. Actually, do, do we even actually have... Well, yeah, how much seed do we have in storage? And have a little gander. I won't say here, but hopefully on silos mention something. Just go and part this up over here. Seeds. Just say TMR lime, a chubby cut pig food and barley. No, it does not. And the answer is nothing. We've got no seeds left whatsoever, so. Interesting. Well, hopefully we can just unload it into the greenhouses. And I cannot remember how much they take. Actually, was it? That one's full. That one's full. 4,000 litres it'll take. That should take 3,500. So we need 7,000 more liters. So another 6,300 liters of seeds. But for whatever reason, it's not being accepted. Why is that? I'm over the trigger point. Oh, we had this issue before, didn't we? Oh well, we'll focus on that. At a later date. Yeah, let's go and grab this over. So we can go and get the trees. The logs put them into the furniture production. So there's a bunch over here. over here. There we go, just chop that bit down. Yeah, start with the easy pile, which is this little bit over here. Pull everything over, try to put it into a neatish pile, but this one worked out right. The other one, not so much. Almost all of it. There we 
go. Strap it down. So I said it's a good baseline for the rest of the logs going on. There we go, grab you. I'll put that on the edge over here. So now, how much of a pain is this going to be for these other logs? Hey, when does that? Does it let you enter the vehicle? Absolutely no idea why. Absolutely no clue whatsoever. <laughs> but anywho, so go and grab. So I'm gonna try just to straighten it all out. So keep it, keep them low. There we go. So it sort of semi strings it all out. There we go, that's a punch there. Oh, stop doing weird physics stuff. No, behave. There we go. Pop you on. Yeah, cops gonna fall off. So I'm trying to get these on roughly as neat as possible, so. Go. I think the rest will just grab them, put them on, strap them on, possibly. There we go. Obviously, the smaller, thinner logs we can put on manually ourselves, of course. But I just want to see how this goes, first of all. You know what? I'm happy with that. Perhaps I should put it in a better order, so we can have some logs at the front and at the back. Because the thicker ones are, I think, what, six meters long, so... Definitely could have done something there with that. Swing you around. That's it, I'm happy with that. And let's see if we can grab all these in one go. But yeah, in terms with what we're gonna do for like the rest of the series and what we're doing with Let's Plays, at the moment it's this and by spring we're doing Court Farms hopefully should be, well hopefully by the end of August we should see it on the mod up. We hoping so, so we can do that map, because I am looking forward to that map so much. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Ah, bugger. So, do unstrap that. There we go. Got that free. Just strap a couple on, like so. And now for the last log. We are by spree. I am absolutely loving that series, loving the map. Obviously. Yeah, first came across it with Dagwin when he did his survival roleplay series, but after I sort of started looking into it, once we've got more details coming out, looks like some map tours and I thought, yeah, that'd be a good for like a tight map, a small map. Not such really, but it's just like the limitations of equipment. And yeah, that series we're trying to do sort of semi realistic bits of it. Obviously, I know things like with the Bell Forge and that. I ain't so realistic with a bit auto loading onto the Bell Forge, but everything else. Well, hopefully, yeah, it's sort of semi realistically ish. Court Farms, my plans for that series. 
I'm not sure yet. Depends on when it's released and that, what mods we've got coming and that. So I may flip it up a notch, swap things around. But yeah, it just really depends on the actual mods. I mean, the major contract series, or may just start with similar to Vice Brain, but a bit more equipment to with having all of the basic equipment we need, but besides from that, I'm not sure. Oh, I took all that. Fair enough. Didn't expect that. Oh well. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a difficult one to deal with, so you know what? Just shut that one into some of production, shall we? So, go over here. Like so. There we go, 59,000 litres. But what about the other production? So, scroll down here. And let's have a look at how much it actually took. So, 60,000 litres that was in total. So it may be worth taking a few more of these trees down. Do a few more big ones. There we go, grab you. Actually, how much is... Turn that on. That's 800 liters. Let's say 1,900 liters is going to a month. So, yeah, that's going to last a while. Okay, Ron's almost done on that field. How's the scene going on here? Not too bad so far. What do you want to think? Let's go with the bigger logs. Just saves on that bulkiness, so yeah, we'll get a few of these transport over. And heck, it may put some into the sawmill itself. Top it up. I think we a good way to get all that done is a little quick time lapse, so yeah. We'll get this done. And I'll see you in the morning, most likely, because we're we'll starting to lose it on the light. So by then, the rest of the rolling will be done. We'll roll this over the night as well. Everything needs to be done today, really. I know not everything, but the majority of it does need to be done. Just so that we can have a less hectic harvest time frame with everything else that's going to be ready. Things like the mega field and that. And that's where we're going to all scoop 50.
and good morning. We have been a bit busy since we last seen each other. For one, I have had a game crash and completely forgot to save everything. So literally, everything that we did since the start of the episode, including all the seeding and the rolling, I didn't save the game at all. So I had to redo everything. Of course, left the worker to do it. Some of the seeding. So our two fields here are both corn now, not corn and sorghum. So just have to work to it whilst I was doing other bits now. And yeah, regret that now, so that's that we've got to deal with. But also we've been having lots of pallets. We even got gold being made now since we put some water in there. And yeah, I think in future We'll just, whatever rocks we have, we'll put in there. Yeah, we did buy a cheeky first load of rocks, but here's what is on that. We're getting tons of methane being produced, so I'm thinking actually, it might be worth trying to sell some of the methane if we can. I don't think there is a set sell price for methane. If anything will be here. No, cannot find methane, methane worry too. So we'll give it a go. That would require I have to buy a tanker, specifically for methane, so that kind of sucks. Also, we've been just transferring a couple of pallets over from sugar mill and that. We do have a few pallets here because we're selling our cloves, flowers and maple syrup. And we've got a ton of this, so... Too many pallets. You know what? Let's go and pick these up and sell a lot of these. Interesting to see how much we can get in total. There we go, that's 4,000 litres. Try to get it so we can. Oh no, oh, that's going over. Well, let's try that. Ah, oh, semi work, so. Let's get a bunch of these on. We're gonna make a lot of money from these, so that's why I'm not too worried about my situation at the moment. Because with the clothes, with the gold, and that. 15 grand, I've already got like 5 pallets worth of that just from overnight so yeah, I think we're looking good with our money situation you know what, let's go bam and bam No, do fall off. Oh, bugger. No. Come on, don't shrap that. Oh, come on, shrap you, shrap you. The problem is, some of these parts won't sell. If they're on our side, they won't sell, so. I need to get them back on there straight and leveled. Oh, come on. There we go. Also, since that's each other, I think about like bees and that because they can help with like the yield bonus and that on certain crops. I cannot remember on top of my head what it is, but I think it's like canola, sorghum. Obviously, none of that we have, but I'm sure we've worked with other crops, so might be worth giving that a shot. Let's just do these. Two by two. Now we say put you on there like so. No, don't fall off. Thank you. And we 
we're trying to get these ass pants on. But yeah, we're gonna make a ton of money from these clothes. So put that load on. There it goes, there it at. There we go. And yeah, what I'm going to do is get these ass bits of clothes and flowers on, and then we'll just go and sell these, I think. So there we go, we've got our main load of stuff. So we've got 37,000 litres of clothes, 70,000 litres of flowers, and 864 litres of maple syrup. So let's go and sell these. Or at least sell as much as we can. That uh, it will allow us to. Oh wow. 470 grand. That is 600 grand there. Oh yeah, maybe it's sort of being accepted here, so let's head over here. Thirteen hundred. Trying to get rid of these last two pads of clues. There we go. But yeah, that is a surprise amount of money there. Did not expect to get that amount of cash, but you know what? I am not complaining. And that's another 36 grand. So now let's go and grab the front loader, or the wheel loader, no, take under, grab the murdo, and see what else is in here, furniture, eggs, cake, no oil, furniture, wood chips, Not one, so I think it's she just the maple syrup left over here. So, yeah, that definitely funds a new combine and its header and trader, which is going to be what about 600 grand. There we go. into our greenhouses and where is it the best place to sell the maple syrup the maple syrup sell point so we'll get about two grand from this and then afterwards we can we won't sell the gold now we'll wait for it to go up a little bit more Times back up there, so turn back up to time six. Actually, what is the fertilizing like? Fertilizing state. Actually, well, best way to check it is via here. So that needs fertilizing. 
but these two, well these three now are mostly alright, so I think, you know what, let's try to spread a bit of Surrey, we've got tons of Surrey about, so yeah, I think we'll do that. Also, we did sell the green car just because he wasn't having much luck with it, so. And actually, if from that money we're going to be making, might be worth perhaps getting a wheel loader. That would help with our animal fee situation. Yeah, pretty much back on two grand there. Flip this over. And our final total. Seventeen thousand and what's that eight hundred or nope, eighteen thousand quid, so you know what? Overall, that ain't the bad little hole that, that is. Yeah, now we'll go and grab the gold, put them over in storage. Actually, you know what? We'll put them over storage because it's in the way over there. We'll just make space, so. That's how much we've got we got. Wow. That is. 10 pallets worth there already. Shove these over here. Still got water in that, but my work just topping up a little bit. There we go. That's okay for silage, so now we've still got tons of methane. Over. There we go. And let the other two spawn. Definitely a wheel loader would help with this. So it might be worth getting a wheel loader in the next episode. But now we've got a bit of money. What we were speaking about the bees. Definitely worth getting them in, so turn it off. We'll go to animals and bees. First of all, we need to find a spawn point for the honey, so... What well, I'm thinking somewhere there. So I can spawn 32 pallets of honey. Now, for the actual bees themselves, so... Beehive over there. Whack in a couple over here. Get them all nice and lined up. You know what? Let's put a bunch down. Put some bees over there. I'm not sure what the range is. I can't remember how much the range is. So that's why I'm just on 
sort of plopping them all over the place a little bit, so somewhere around here. There we go. I know we're gonna get tons of honeybeam juice now, so just looking like this, so Squeeze one over here, sure. But also, we need to start think about the cows because cows have they ever run out of TMR. But I've left that on purpose. And the reason for being is to have a bigger cow pen. Of course, a new field purchase, so not everything just being splashed with the nitty. Well, a couple more over here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, got over there. Six, seven. Because I actually didn't count how many we put down. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's make it around fifteen. I know, fourteen, so one more, so. What heck it? Put one down there. That is going to be a lot of honey we be producing now. So. The honey point is over here, and already we're getting honey. So let's just sort, skip time for a bit, because I just want to see. Well, now there's a great amount of the maple syrup cell point. A bit late for that. Oh man, we're getting even more pallets being spawned here. Tons of cakes and that being made. Action and what? Not gonna do much. Too much. I'm gonna set these to sell. Getting so much out of here, so and already two full pallets of honey. And let's see what else is there to sell over here. Uh, you know what? There's a few more that we could possibly sell, so. Sell some bread, sell some oils. Shall not take too long. And after we need to start, just remember we need to cut this grass field over here. So, you know what? Let's get all this done. And that's where I think it'll be a good way to end today's episode. And then the next one, we've got gold to sell amongst a few other bits. There we go. So yeah, it shouldn't take too long, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. Had me down for the count, I was on nine, nine all the time. Shattered soul, you took control, but now I'm gone by.
And there we go with all the mowing well, done. Let's just win the road here so pick this up. So I'm thinking some of this could be used as hay and the rest could be used as silage. Actually if we have a look. Got a bit of hay in storage so actually we can get away without actually converting all this into silage. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do is and whatever it got get could be used as TMR for cows. Actually if it's a about yeah, a two to one ratio for silage and hay. I think if we just constantly monitor it, that may be a better solution. Just make sure we get our balance of hay and silage. Of course, we still need plenty of straw, so whether or not we'll buy some straw, I don't know. Okay, we're missing some bits on the side, but those we can pick up at the end. I'm not too worried about missing those. And yeah, we should get quite a bit from this, so. But anyway, so that is where we're going to leave it today. So the rest of this will finish off in the next episode. So the plan for the next episode is get the gold cell. Get the gold sold in. What else can be sold in June? We have a look here. See so yeah, gold. June, July. About 17 grand, so get a bit more than we're currently getting. We'll sorry spread the fields. Oh, furniture and planks. So gold, furniture and planks. Yeah, it's like the honey. That's gonna go down. I won't peak until March next year. Hence why we start that going now. Start looking at some sugar perhaps. Anything else in particular? No, not really. Come on, pick it up. There we go. But yeah, we're gonna miss a few bits here and there, but but regardless, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for as do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.